So we are continuing with this example here. Example one, uh, we have the, uh, if we can figure out the length of this side, we have the perimeter. Uh, according to the formula, we just need the apothem, which is given here, and the perimeter. So uh, let's use this 36 to 90 degree right triangle to figure that out. So we've got this uh, height of our triangle figured out. Now the angle of this we can figure out as well because we have, uh, we know, if you think about that inscribed polygon, it has 360 degrees. And if we divide that into triangles here, uh, we have six triangles. So 360 divided by six is 60 degrees. And now we have this triangle here has 60 degrees in it. And we split that in half to get 30 degrees here. So now this is, if we kind of pull that out and enlarge it, it looks like this. So we have this 30 degree angle here, 60 degrees here, and eight radical three the given length there. Then going back up here we know, now if this is x radical three, this time is just x. So in other words, this is eight radical three, so this would be eight. And then the hypotenuse, if we need the hypotenuse, which we don't in this case, but we can figure that out, it's just two times x, which would be 16. So now that I know that this length right here is eight, I know that this whole side right here then would be eight times two, or 16. So therefore, this side, this side, all these sides, there are six of them, that would be 16 times six. So my perimeter is 16 times six. And now I can calculate my area. I can do my area is equal to one half times eight radical three times 16 times six. And when we calculate that uh, all together, uh, you can use your calculator and you can figure that out.